All right, so this is uh, task three, where we're wanting to configure the pop-up for um, this layer of Indiana counties. OK, so to configure a pop-up, you have to go into the layer. And then there should be some options for configuring pop-ups or disabling pop-ups. Again, if you don't want to have a pop-up at all, you can just simply disable it here. Um, but I want to have one, and I want it to be configured the way that I want. So we're going to go in and do that. So I'm going to go to Configure Pop-ups, and that should open up this Configure Pop-ups uh, window. OK, so um, we want to have the county name as the title. So right now, it, the name is the state, um, so that it all would just you know, be the same state. It'd be Indiana. Note that there's curly brackets around this that indicates that you're grabbing an attribute column. So let's grab a different field. So now what we want is the county name. And now that should show up as the title as opposed to the state name. Um, if we wanted, you could also incorporate some other tax. I didn't ask you to do this, but uh, we could do something like uh, county colon county. So that's going to print this as plain text, and then it's going to grab the attribute column to fill in the county name. OK, so that's taken care of. Um, then we should only show the following information. County name, FIPS code, population density, percent of population over 55, median income, and, uh, and then percent poverty. All right, so let's have a look at how we would do that. So this is the list of fields that will pop up. So to edit that, we click on this window. OK, so we don't want the object ID. We don't need the state name, the state FIPS code. Um, I said in, we don't really need to put the county name because that's in the title. Oh, yeah, we'll leave FIPS code in there. We don't need these ones. So, yeah, I'm just going through and trying to get rid of the fields that I don't want. So that's population density, percent uh, greater than 55. There's our median income, poverty, and that's it. OK, so before we go on, I'm just going to uh, test that and see what it looks like. OK, so this is what our pop-up looks like now. So we, the title here is the county name. So again, it takes our, our text and then the county name. And then we have those values and then the fields. Um, so the next thing that we need to do is change these uh, alias names so they're just a little bit better, um, more, you know, more interpretable. OK, so let's go back in here. And we should be a, what shows up, let's see, should be able to edit the alias name here think. Oh, I see. Uh, we actually have to do this in the table. So let's go, let's open the attribute table. And then within here, we should be able to change the alias name. So to do that, we need to see the fields. So I'm going to go to data, and then fields, and that will list all of our attribute fields. So now we want to change some names. Uh, FIPS is good, we don't need to change that. Um, we do want to change this, so percent over 55, median income, percent poverty, and did I get all of them? Oh, population density. Density. Okay, that should do it. And then I'm going to hit save there. Okay, so let's get rid of that. We don't really need that anymore. Now let's see if it updated that. There we go. So now we have nice names, FIPS, population density, percent over 55, median income, and percent poverty. And as I just noticed, I made some spelling errors. So I can go back in here 
and just edit the table again. So again, we'll pull up the fields and fix this. So, oop, median income and percent poverty. Again, save it and test to make sure it worked. Updated. Okay, cool. So that seems good. So the next op, the next uh, and final task was to make a pie chart of voting results for the 2012 presidential race that shows the percent of the population that voted for a Democrat, Republican, and then the Independent Party. Okay, so to do that, we click on charts, and then we need to edit the chart. So we'll call this uh, voting results. And to inclu include in the results, we just want those three percentages. And those should sum to 100. We don't need to normalize because they're already a percentage. OK, and then we want to do a pie chart type. OK, so let's see if that worked. So let's see, that didn't take, probably just hasn't updated yet. Let's try it one more time. Okay, let's try that again. There we go. So now we have a pie chart of the different percentages uh, or proportions for the, the voting results. Note that we probably need some additional work like picking collars and maybe adding labels, but that's all we need to do at this point. Okay, so that's configuring a pop-up. Again, if you go into Arc, uh, if you move your Arc into Arc Online, or sorry, you move your map into Arc Online, um, these pop-ups and symbology should carry along also.